Heavy rains have caused great damage to large agricultural lands in Yemen. This comes while extreme heat weather was forecast across the globe on Wednesday, as wildfire raged and health warnings were in place in parts of Asia, Europe and North America. The following report has more details. As heat waves deepen over most of Europe, Asia, and portions of the United States, the World Meteorological Organization, or the WMO, issued a warning about a high risk of mortality due to the extreme weather. The United Nations Meteorological Office has warned that such disasters will only become more severe and that the world must be better prepared for them. This comes as countries throughout the Northern Hemisphere continue to experience record high temperatures. Temperatures in North America, Asia, and across North Africa and the Mediterranean will be above 40 degrees Celsius for a prolonged number of days this week as the heat wave intensifies. The World Meteorological Organization stated, while the WMO is concerned about maximum day temperatures, it is more concerned about high overnight minimum temperatures, which pose the greatest health risks, especially for vulnerable people. Repeatedly high nighttime temperatures are especially hazardous to human health because the body is incapable of recovering from prolonged heat. This increases the number of heart attacks and deaths. In cities with prolonged power outages, this risk is especially potent. The heat index in the Middle East hit 66 degrees Celsius, approaching or going beyond levels regarded to be the most extreme the human body can tolerate. According to scientists, such conditions are more than enough to exceed the body's capacity to control its internal temperature and provide an idea of the hazards that are only likely to grow worse as global warming raises extremes in heat and humidity. The body has its own cooling system to survive heat without the assistance of air conditioning, fans, or shade. Some body heat can escape by convection and radiation, but only if the air temperature is lower than the body temperature. According to a study published in the British medical journal The Lancet, the number of people dying from heat-related causes in the Middle East would likely increase from an average of about two deaths per 100,000 people today to about 123 per 100,000 people in the last two decades of this century. That indicates that by the year 2100, around 138,000 people per year in nations such as Iraq would likely die from heat-related causes.